Hey guys, what's up? This is Mr. Winters. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these key holders. I'll take you through it step by step. First thing you need to do, you need to get two pieces of wood. <clears throat> these pieces of wood are two inches wide this way, three fourths of an inch wide this way. I need to cut these two pieces of wood to eight inches. Okay, the next step, I'm gonna take one of these pieces of wood and this will make the top of this little shelf. So all I need to do on this piece of wood is use the router and we're gonna put a chamfered edge on this. Don't assume that there's already a chamfer bit in the routing table. You might have to change it, just let me know if you're not sure. So I do need to change this out. We got it all switched out, so I'm gonna put an edge here, here, and here. So this is the back side, and then I just did the three sides. That's all we gotta to do to the top of the board. The next step on this is to make this bottom piece. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna take my other board, I'm gonna take the example that I have, and I'm just gonna lay that on there, and I'm gonna trace this pattern. Okay, I got my, my bottom traced. I'm gonna to go to the bandsaw, and I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, the next step is to use the orbital sander and I'm just going to sand, I'm going to sand these and make them nice and even and just get rid of the rough edges. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next step is to lay out where we're going to drill these holes to put in these little hangers. I'm going to set my combination square to 3 fourths of an inch. Okay, so I've got a line three fourths inches down. Now for, my, for what I did on mine, I just went to the center of this. I put one there. I came up from this point, put one there. Up from this point. And then up from the center of this arch. Okay, the next step is go to the drill press and drill these holes. Okay, for the hangers, we're using 3 16 inch dowel rods, so we need a 3 16 inch drill bit. Yeah, I only wanna drill halfway, so make sure you set the stop gauge and that you only are going halfway. Next step is to put these two boards together. So we're just doing a simple butt joint like that. I'm gonna glue this edge, attach that there. And then we're just gonna use the brad nailer, the nail gun, and shoot in three nails. We're using one and one fourth inch brad nails in the brad nailer. After I glue that up, I'm going to use a little quick clamp to clamp this thing together. Okay, I've got two on each end, and now I'm going to put one right in the middle. Okay, there we go. Now make sure you wipe your glue. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I need to cut four dowel rods. I'm going to get a 3 16 inch dowel rod, and we're going to cut four of these. They're going to be an inch and a half long. So four pieces, inch and a half long. Okay, now it's time to sand this thing. So I'm going to go through the sanding process, starting with 120 grit. I'm going to sand this. 
And I'm also gonna just round these edges off and make them cleaned up with the sander too. We'll sand everything with 120 grit, then we'll wet it down, do 220 grit, and then we'll be ready to finish this up. Where your brad nails were, put a little bit of glue and then sand it and that'll fill in those holes. Okay, I'm all finished sanding, so now I'm just going to take my dowel rods, and I'm going to put those into those holes. Okay, get a rubber mallet, and we're going to just lightly tap those in. At this point, you have some options. So if you want to put somebody's name here, or your last name or something with a stamp, you totally could do that. You could leave it plain like this. You also, if, if you're not gonna put any lettering, you're ready to move on to either torching it. And if you don't wanna torch it, you can move on to the step where you put the oil on it. So what I'm gonna do on mine is I'm gonna put my son's name right here. I'm gonna put Jackson. And then I'm going to torch it. And then I'm gonna put the oil on it. So to put this name, I'm gonna find the midpoint right here. Basically gonna start right above this line right here. And then when I do, letterings with a stamp, I always start with the middle letter in the word. So my son's name is Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. So the middle letter in his name is a K. So I'm gonna put a K right in the center, and I'm gonna work this way and this way with the other letters. Okay, now I'm gonna take a fine tip Sharpie. I have some of these at my desk if you just ask me, I'll get you one. And I'm just gonna carefully draw in those letters. Next thing I'm gonna do is use the torch and I'm gonna burn this thing. last thing I need to do on this is just put the oil on. Okay, there we go. I got the whole project complete. Be safe, have fun in the shop, make cool projects. We'll see you on the next video.